How dare he clear my call? Who? My supposed partner, Rodney. Well, maybe you interrupted something. I don't care. He should have his mind on the job. Well, maybe he has. Anyway, do you really need Rodney for this deal? Financially, probably not. But I don't want to do the day-to-day -day running of it. Well, well, can't you pay someone else to do that? Beginning to wonder. Well, all I'm saying is, you know, maybe it's not worth going into partnership with someone who you don't trust. I know he's busy. We're all busy. Well, when he has finished his meeting, perhaps you could get him to return my calls. Tate. Christopher Tate, yes. The Holiday Park. Still no joy, then. He's conveniently in a meeting. And that bitch of a secretary won't tell me a thing. Well, no news is good news, I suppose. Charity, darling, I have been in this business long enough to know when I'm being fobbed off. Well, if you want information from that bitch of a secretary, then why don't you try using a bit of charm? I was charming. Oh, women do these things so much better. Ask Rodney. What's that supposed to mean? Who do you think wanted girly chats with me last night? Louise smoozing on Rodney's behalf. God, he's got a nerve. You didn't fall for it, then? Of course not. Saw right through it. I'll make a tate out of you yet. No, well, Rodney's messing you about. Now get on and sort it out. Ah. So, the silent partner arrives. Yeah, sorry I've been held up. I've been trying to get hold of you all morning. Ah, uh, mobile's been playing up. I should have told you. Yes, you should have. So, uh... No news, then? I have been trying to contact the agent, but he's permanently indisposed. So, we're still in with a chance, then? If you say so. Do you want a drink, Rodney? Uh, yes, thank you. Okay. Well, we must keep a positive outlook, eh? For God's sake, give it up, Rodney. You've blown the whole deal, and to my mind, the only good to come out of this mess is the fact that you're personally ten grand out of pocket. Oh, for God's sake, there's no point us all sitting here. The result of Rodney's stupidity is a foregone conclusion anyway. Come on, Chris. I don't appreciate that, Chris. Oh, where's your sense of humour? Or has Ray fooled you out of that as well? We'll soon see who looks foolish, won't we? Hello. To charity, I'm working. Oh, I know when I'm not wanting. No, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm working. You're sulking because Rodney lost the bid. I'm not sulking, I'm seething. Well, you know what this means anyway. Yeah, months of work have been wasted and my stress levels have hit the roof. No, no, it means we've got more money for the new house. <laughs> Christopher Tate. Oh, thank you for getting back to me. I see. Ah. No, 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 no. We, we weren't concerned. Yeah. Thank you very much. It seems the new house will have to wait. I have just acquired a holiday village. Fantastic. And in time, I'll be able to buy you a castle. Hmm. Why'd it take so long anyway? Well, apparently our bid was the highest, but still fell short of the reserve price. They had to decide whether or not to sell. So Rodney's not such a fool after all, eh? He was lucky, that's all. But Ray must have some pretty good connections. Still, I think it's time for champagne. It's always time for champagne. <laughs> Don't think you should phone Rodney first, though. Oh, I would. But his mobile's playing out. <sighs> to a successful and prosperous partnership. Mm. And a lot more honesty. Yeah, point taken. But you've got to admit, it worked. You were lucky. Yes, my luck saved us thousands. And nearly cost us the deal. So in future, Rodney, you don't make any major decision without checking with me first. We're equal partners. But of course. So, here's to the holiday village.